on guys chase daniel here this is the chase daniel show and you know we had to do it one last time dak prescott and the cowboys early exit they got completely demolished by the green bay packers is it coaching is it dak i don't know look i thought dak for the first part of the game first half of the game was playing a little bit scared if i'm being honest he was missing receivers him and cd lamb uh, as greg olson alluded to just weren't on the same page uh and it was weird to see because you have a home game, they're averaging 37 points per game at home. And look, they came, made it a game late a little bit, but Jordan Love and the Packers, they got the best of them. Uh, are the Cowboys going to have a new coach? Is Dak going to sign back? Look, I, I, I don't know. But what I do know is this film's going to be tough to watch for some of you Cowboys fans, but I'm going to break it down right here, right now. All right, Dak Prescott. Man, he had a rough one. And it all started really in the first half. He just didn't play well. He played a little bit scared. Uh, Dallas fans, if you don't want to watch this, I get it. But I had to break it down. Okay, They did a lot of this uh, at the line of scrimmage. Dak checking. It's what they've done all year long. There weren't a ton of bad. Okay, But the bad plays were awful. And that is what lost you guys the game. Okay? Not on the same page as CD. Okay, Multi like here's the first example of it. So they run this play more than any other play I've really ever seen anyone uh, run. It's just hinges. Okay, these hinges in a shallow cross with a basic. So it's doubles game. So they call it double hinge. Okay, and what that means is, okay, on either side of the play you're going to have mirrored routes so these hinges these are called hinge routes 14 to 16 yards and if you're pressed you need to shorten it to 12 which dax feet tell me that he's working cd if you're not then get to 16 and then you work the inside corner uh inside triangle excuse me if not <clears throat> all right so it's pressed dax ready to throw Okay, Dak's ready to throw. CD is not breaking the route off short. Look at where 18 is. I thought, first of all, that their timing was off. So that's the number one issue. Second issue with this, and we've been taught, and Dax worked the off receiver on these hinge routes. He's working the press receiver. So it's going to take a little bit more time. If you're working the press receiver, you need to um deepen up your drop maybe take two hitches okay look at this receiver down here he's open 18's open if not find your burst route okay Dak does a good job right here taking off when it's not there i thought he used his <clears throat> legs really well for the most part okay needs to work on his sliding a little bit but just that i know it's a big play it's a big run all that stuff but first of all like i, I thought Dak should have been on the other side Second of all, if he is working the press receiver side on these hinge routes, then he needs to take two hitches and trust it because CD does come open. Okay, one, two, three. He's right. He's ready to throw on the first hitch. Okay, he can get it over that guy. I'm not worried about that guy. CD's not ready. Okay, so if he's not there, then you need to progress to the shallow cross right here to the basic to the burst, which he does. He finds an open B, B gap lane and takes off, which I like it. There's nothing wrong with that. But this was play three of the game, and this was sort of the entire portion of the game, not on the same page. And this is coming against the defense, guys. I know you don't want to hear it. That has been piss poor. They have not been good. All right, empty formation. We're going to take it play by play. I got 12 plays here. Okay. Drop. Just a drop. There's nothing... I mean, th this is day one install for the Cowboys. Okay, they're running a stick, a stick, so it's called double stick, and they're running a slant and a slant. It's called lion. So double stick down here, lion up here. I like the decision to work up top, okay, because the way they're playing this, they're playing this in four mini, which means um, the nickel's always going to stay outside, so you can't throw cooks. He's going to play man-to-man, -man, and this safety is helping him out. So it's really three on two. The one-on-one -on -one is right here. And I like that CD sort of has, uh, uh, he has inside leverage on this guy and he beats him. 
Okay. I like it, but also these guys are stacked. So even if Dak wanted to throw to the top receiver up top, he's covered. It's, it's good throw. Like this is a difficult throw. Pretty good play by number seven right here. I thought he did a good job playing this, but CD has made these catches all year long. There's a reason he was second in the NFL in receiving. Okay, good job by Dak just checking it. Okay, he comes back to CD, who gets a little bit grabbed. Hit your hands, you should catch it. Bottom line, not all of it's on Dak. Third and five. Let's only play nine of the game. No need to freak out. Relax, just play your game. They're playing man-to-man, -man, clear as day. What are you going to do for a man-beater? Motion to three-by-one bunch, all right? Interception. Pick six, Jair Alexander, not good. This was a force, okay? And what they're doing is they're running a shallow cross versus man. CD is arc-releasing corner, which is where the ball should have went. And, and Brandon Cooks has this out whip route. So you're going to whip back in. Pretty simple route concept. You're going to read Gallup to the corner to Cooks. Watch this corner route comes open. Come, come open. Okay. If he can just sit in there just a little bit longer, CD's getting in and getting hit, like half a second more of protection, he throws it to CD. This is where the ball should go. They, they built this route concept for CD. These whip routes, okay, San Fran runs them a lot, versus man-to-man -man are not good. And Jair Alexander jumps it, takes it back to the house. Bottom line, miss throw, miss read. Play nine of the game. You're throwing from your own 12-yard line. Just tough. Jair wasn't even supposed to play. So if you just trust this a little bit longer, I think instead of a pick six, it might be a huge play to CD. Because watch CD, okay? You see CD down here. He arc releases and he gains leverage on 37. There's a little bit of stuff on him, but Dak has a pocket, okay? Don't don't hitch up in the pocket. Just stay back here. And he's honestly, like you guys know how much of a like believer in Dak that, I, that I've been, but this is just, this is a poor read. And unfortunately, it turns into... An interception for six points the other way. All right, 14 nothing. Second quarter, they only run 13 plays in the first quarter. Like this, okay, so everyone knows these tight ends are going to chip. Okay, so what are they going to do downfield? Oh, they're rolling out. Miss. Okay, this is on CD. This isn't on deck. I've seen them run this play at least once a game. Watch deck. One, two, three. For fifth step, throwing it. Okay, this route should be at nine yards. It's exactly where CD's at. Okay, CD, the ball's already in the air, which I like because you got to get it ball out. Watch CD. I'm going to slow-mo it. He should just sit there. This is not a hinge route where you're falling away. He falls away from it. Dak puts it at nine yards on the sideline where CD Lamb should be. Okay, watch CD fall out of this. You see him go back and then try to react to it? Can't do that. And then CD's like, well, what's happening? It's on you. That was the wrong route. You need to sit there on the sideline. You actually want this corner to jump you because this, this corner route with Cooks could come open. I love the anticipation he's throwing. I do not think he missed his throw. I've seen this so many different times. Just seeing it from CD when you're falling away when you shouldn't is a big mistake. Okay, so they do Q8. I like that they mix it up because every time they've been in this situation with two tight ends off, it's been downfield shots. Let's just get Dak rolling on the move. Should be an easy completion. One, two, three, four, five. Ball. CD's falling away from it. Hits him in his hand. Should have been complete. So 14 nothing. This is the very next play. Interesting uh, wrinkle in Green Bay. Six-man front. See how they block it. Okay, Dak's going to his play. See what he goes to. Thought Green Bay played a really good, really good game on defense. Okay, so now they're going to too high. All right, what's their uh, 
What's their answer for this? Down the middle. Oh my God, this is a dime. They're just running Algo Special, and that's Algo Special is a three by one vertical. So he's got the special seam versus two high. He can keep it a little bit skinnier. Should catch it on that star. Cook should be a little bit wider to not draw this safety who's looking directly to him. Details, okay? And this is a hinge route, what we talked about, 16 to 18. And this is a hinge route. Dak sees it's cover two on this side, okay? Hate this, can't throw this hinge. Eyes down the field. As soon as this uh, Mike linebacker is level-footed like that, look when he's throwing the ball. I mean, between five guys, this is a very difficult throw. He makes it, and what a catch by Jake Ferguson. I, th I think Jake Ferguson is, is a star. You guys know how I feel about him. I don't need to talk about him anymore. So, six-man front. Interesting way to get to this Tampa 2 look. But Dak's aggressive after he threw a pick six, six plays earlier. Okay, hits it. I mean, come on. That's wild. A lot could go wrong, but Dak's still confident, makes a big play. I thought this play right here was going to get him going. I'm going to show this view too because I like it. All right. One, two, three, hitch ball. Over seven before Owens. Really good play. Okay. A couple plays later, one by three slot formation going to two by two. That's what they did a lot to try and address their coverage a little bit. And pretty simple route concept. They've run it all year. CD on this out route, they cloud it. Okay, this corner route is taken away. You're going to have a shallow and a basic. I thought Dak missed this basic throw. Watch this basic come open. Okay, he's standing there. He's getting out early. This is a really good pocket. Didn't trust it. I've seen him make much tighter window throws right here to Gallup. But he does a good job getting out on the edge. But not throwing the football away when you are in field goal range for Brandon Aubrey. 36 yard would be a 54 yard field goal. And by doing this and not just throwing it to CD on the sideline, or just throwing it to Cooks, or just running up the middle. Just a very, very bad mistake. You can't make this mistake. There's no way you're getting, you're not that fast, okay? There's no way you're getting around this guy. I just thought this was a bad mistake. Take him out of field goal range. Huge sack by 25. You got to throw that football away right there. All right, let's see it. Okay, he's going to throw it. If not, reset. Okay, reset. He might feel that, but this is the basic window I'm talking about with Gallup coming in that window. It just needs to get in there a little bit sooner. And right here, you're in field goal range. You need points. Throw the ball away. Oh, that was brutal. That was hard to watch. That's a tough one. 20 to nothing. And it's the Cowboys' 22nd play. So, this was a dime. This is really cool because they're bringing five. They got three deep, three under. They needed something going. So they have a hinge route out here. They run a ton of hinges. Okay, they have this dagger route, a clear route, and a shallow cross. It's like almost like a two-minute play that they're getting to. Look, when, when they bring five, which they are, okay, back's going to go help. They end up getting it picked up. There's a lot of things that are open in the middle of the field. And actually, Green Bay does a really good job for this three deep, three under defense. He gets in it, but look look at this ball. Okay, when he throws on time and in rhythm, he was trusting it. This is a dime. I'm going to show it from this view because it's sweet. Wasn't all bad from Dak, but his bad mistakes were really, really bad in crucial positions of the game. Such a good throw. Nice catch, too. All right, second and two, two minute. Left in the half, motion CD over. Playing a bunch of shell versus these guys, keep everything in front of them. Play action, pick six, number two. Not good. Okay, what happened? Well, <clears throat> here's what happened. They're pressuring this linebacker. Okay, so it's zone, it's zone defense it's zone pressure defense Dak thinks it's man okay and so he works that side because what do we say for quarterbacks to do 
throw into pressure. All this is is triple slant. They run it a ton. It's a clear, like a mini clear, a three-step slant and a five-step in route. And you're running this little hitch down here. Reads him like a book, okay? He just, re his eyes are straight to there. I mean, Dak's thinking that he's going to pull him right there. This is more of a, a better play than a tough pick because like one quarterback coach told me once that this was the most intercepted play in all of football because of the fact that this little mini looky route doesn't continue running and so many guys, whether it's a linebacker underneath or a safety over top, falls off of it. And this is when the route was on. I couldn't believe my eyes. I know Dak couldn't believe it, but it happened. Two pick sixes and a half. A sack at a field goal range, not good. Okay. See right here, 59 over there on your left side of your screen. He's going to be blitzing. 26. I mean, that's hard to see because he attached and he comes off. Difficult. <clears throat> pick six. I'm not going to watch it all. All right. 27 to nothing. Okay. Two minute. Let's see what happens here. Should have been another interception. Should have been another interception. And they're trying, I know exactly what they're trying to do. They're trying to run a corner route. They're trying to run this in and up versus too high. Okay. So this corner takes out this safety. And you have one on one right here, just a, just a bad throw. Okay, so this is going to occupy two. The middle of the field's wide open. Need a better route out of Jake Ferguson. Need a better throw from Dak. Okay, and this his safety does a really good job coming off. This nickel falls off, so this corner. It's just the plays were not working. Would you imagine if he would have had three interceptions in the first half? I mean, it wouldn't have mattered because they lost, but. These are points. These are big, big points. Okay, Dak does a good job. Sees it. 59 does a good job. <clears throat> I've seen Dak make this throw. Should have been a pick, though. Bottom line. All right, play 10. Third and 10. 12 seconds left. Another crucial mistake. They got bailed out here. They're going to throw this little hitch route up here to CD. He's short of the end zone. They have no timeouts. They can't be short of the end zone. They're really lucky because they called this guy for holding. But this is called a trigger situation. You got to be in the end zone, which everyone is. In, 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 in. CD, you're not in, and you're going to your main guy. I get it, but this could have been just an amazing parody of errors. Okay, he got lucky that the flag was called, but Dak knows better. These guys know better. It's like their brain wasn't working when they needed it the most. And that, that, might sound, that might sound harsh to some guys and some people, but it's the truth. you got to be in the end zone. You have no timeout. Luckily, they don't. Look, they end up scoring right here. Had to show a touchdown pass. Second and one. Thought this was really good. They're going to run an RPO with a slide route. Cooks is going to pick. Okay, and this is what, I mean, you got to go for it. I, I like the decision by Mike McCarthy here. You can't kick a field goal when you're down 27 nothing. Okay, <clears throat> and look, there's no one for Cooks to pick. This is the guy going. Easy walk-in touchdown on this little slide route. Nice throw. Okay, Ferguson gets himself a touchdown. Like Dak threw for 400 yards in the second half, pretty much. So, show one more play right here. 27-7. <clears throat> to seven. Two by two formation. I mean, they were in two minute the entire second half. Here's what happens. Okay. Moving around. Not good. Just not good at all. Okay. It, this this to me was this to me was a touchdown. Okay? And I like that they're doing they're bringing them in. They're going a corner route and they run this little snake route, this snake post. They want to get behind this defender right here. Okay? And Watch, it's too high. Dak needs to look left, which he does. He gets, it's a good pocket. It's a good pocket. Okay, he's attached. Watch this guy come open. Ferguson's coming open. You got to throw it. He's open. That is open in the NFL. 
throw it. He's already moving. You could tell it got to him. Everything in this game, every bad thing that happened got to him. And it's just unfortunate because, look, Dak had his best year as a pro. Watch, he's open. Ferguson's open. Got to throw it to him. Best year as a pro, but it's going to be interesting to see what happens in Dallas this offseason.